A typical day started out at around 9, 9.30. Uh, we would meet over in the parking lot where we had a huge storage container uh, that housed all of our materials. The kids would come out, they would set everything up, set up the scaffold, uh, bring out all of the tile, the materials. Um, in the beginning, there was a lot of breaking of tile and cutting of mirror. You know, every piece of mirror in this mural was sliced by hand. Uh, all the tile was broken by the kids. Uh, just the setup alone would take maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, then we would have to mix cement, and we instructed the students on every aspect of putting this together. We had a choice. Uh, we could have just done this with professional artists, but we decided that we did want to work with students. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a professor. I'm, I work with students all over the city of Chicago, so it's always a joy to be able to share um, this type of artistry with, with young up-and-coming artists. I realized with this project that art can be so much more than just a drawing. It can be related to so many things. It can be translated into so many cultures, so many languages. I realized that history has a big part with everything that happens around us. A wonderful memory of working on this project and learning a whole new art form and learning about a whole different neighborhood. I would never have come to the South Side, at least not this often. I'm a supervisor. I'm supposed to be supervising volunteers who basically are helping us today. Put, we're going from light colors to darker colors when we get closer to the brown. They're teenagers. <laughs> and for a lot of them, this was their first job. Um, a lot of our young people are not accustomed to doing physical labor. Um, so again, I don't think they had any idea what they were signing up for. I think it was fun and exciting in the beginning, but when we really got down to the nitty gritty of it, um, we could see that it was starting to take a toll on them. But I think as they worked more with it and saw it come together, they started to take ownership of it. This art piece is basically about the community. So if you want to come along. You have pictures of the black community, people who used to live in this neighborhood a long time ago. You got the great Michael Jackson here, you know, to honor him. And you got some more pictures of the black community over here. And if you step back a little bit, you can see that it's like a hand doing this and letting the birds go free. This technique is called bricolage, and it was developed by an artist by the name of Isaiah Zagar in Philadelphia. And actually John Weber, um, along with another Chicago Public Art Group artist, went to Philadelphia and spent some time with Isaiah to learn this technique, and they brought it back to the group. Now we're doing this style of mosaic that is mixing together uh, painted sections, uh, photos, mirror, uh, and a broken tile. So I'm gonna break up some small pieces so they can fit. Oh, in here? Yeah. Okay. We opened it up to a community, so we had several uh, community volunteer days where people from the community were able to come up and participate and put tile on the wall and help with the grouting process. Um, so it was really a collaborative effort. Oh, it's beautiful. The, the neighborhood has uh, changed. Uh, it's cyclic. It's on an upswing. Um, people are starting to take a lot more interest, uh, care not only beautifying, but putting part of themselves into what's going on and uh, keeping things uh, uplifted, beautiful, artistic. A couple rode by on bikes one day and they stopped and they said they had come the day before, but there was no one out working, so they had to come back the next day to see who was actually doing this. And he's a firefighter and he said, you know, I've got pictures of my 
great grandfather as a firefighter uh, when the fire department, I think he said, was over on um, state. And I said, why don't you bring him out and let's look at him. And he brought him out and actually we had already made our cut for images. We weren't going to do any more firing. So I told him I may not be able to get him in. And then the next day we found out that some of our original images um, missed the firing. So we had to do a second firing. So I was able to call him and say, look, I was able to get your grandfather's picture in. So this was really a nice one. And there's another one a little further down. My name is Patrick McCoy. I'm a resident of the, of the community. Uh, I live down on, on Lake Park. Uh, this picture is a picture of my family in 1951. And this is a picture of my grandparents back, taking it back in uh, 1917, 1918. It just started to grow and it was as more people got involved the students started to get excited about it and I really think um, they realized that they really participated in something that's historical um, that they were a part of being a visual voice for the stories that the community really wanted to be told. We have five generations on this wall because this is this is our, our community this is where we we developed as a, as a people and as I was saying earlier these type of murals and walls are very important. They're very important as markers because uh, a people essentially create a community and they have to have a mark that they were there, that they have contributed important things and this wall has so many different aspects of the importance of our people in this culture. I'm a real believer in the importance of the of the arts to communities. Um, this is visual arts. Of course, our communities of African American communities have always been enriched by by music. Uh, but I think we need to look at at other art forms as a way of um, of enriching our neighborhoods. And surely, these kind of public artworks do that. Create a work of art where the ordinary people in the audience, the the neighborhood residents. And people who came, as well as people who came to visit, could feel that they were part of the story. They could uh, enter in to that and be and be part of the ongoing history of the city.